In today's short Tactical Tuesday episode, I want to discuss Floodgates again, but in a more relevant form. While I did cover a generic Floodgates video a few months ago, I find it may be more appropriate to start discussing which Floodgates have more utilization with the release of each set. As always, if you enjoy these types of videos, do consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell for more future content. Tactical Tuesdays are my way to give players ideas to cards that they may not have thought of. While yes, Death Exmon is what most players would use to fill in another slot, sometimes adjusting your rookies for the upcoming meta can also be beneficial. For this specific episode, I want to go back to the BT5 Floodgates that can prevent Digimon from reducing Digivolution costs. Gaussmon, Sayakomon, and Cutemon. With Black War Greymon X quickly being tested more and more each day, players are starting to see that the reason why this deck is so strong is because of Greymon X. Greymon X can reduce the Digivolution cost of a Greymon Digimon by one for each of its colors. Meaning that a BT8 Metal Greymon or a BT11 Metal Greymon X goes from a 4 cost, which is very reasonable, to a measly 2. Which is a little busted in my opinion. With a Memory Fixer, this guarantees memory staying on your turn before you go into a Metal Greymon X for free, and then slotting the X antibody under it to go into Black War Greymon X if you want to deal more security damage. But with the presence of Gaussmon, Sayakomon, or Cutemon, none of this happens. That Digivolution cost would cost the full 4, and while yes, it would pop the Floodgate, it does deter your opponent from doing anything more for the turn. In combination with Floodgates that prevent memory gain, not even Memory Boost can be combined with this. While Memory Boosts are another critical item that players will continue to use, decks like Black War Greymon X run maybe 1 or 2 boosts to search. That being said, Madoki Betamon, Chumon, Gazimon, and Terriermon are still great deterrents against decks like Grandis, which utilize 3 to 4 boosts, and Melga X decks, which could utilize memory boosts and also hammer sparks. And while the BT5 floodgates may see a resurgence, what are decks that have the best homes for each of them? Honestly, Gaussmon could be utilized in a Black War Greymon X deck for the mirror. But in general, you have so many ways to buff your Digimon and D-Digivolve protection that in order to maintain the consistency of Agumons in the deck for your X variants, it may be better to just determine when is the best time to stay in the raise versus coming out. However, Gaussmon could find homes moving into Jessmon. But other than that, the only other red decks that come in mind at this point for BT11 might be raid-related like Marsmon and Phoenixmon. Red in general doesn't have too many meta-hitting decks at this point. And for even decks like Dorbic, it's a reptile, not a dinosaur. Sayakomon, on the other hand, has it easy because Madoki Betamon is also present in blue. Because of this, you can utilize both in decks like Ulforce Vidramon and really deter your opponent from outspeeding you. Although Ulforce has potential in this format, it is tamer reliant and does not have too many security bombs if it doesn't set up in time. Other blue decks that could utilize these two floodgates in the BT11 format are Examon. Unfortunately, this also makes your Cordramons a bit more expensive. And finally, Cutemon. This cute Digimon can be splashed in decks that utilize yellow. And if you're wanting to keep Cutemon in the race first, then you'll want to use yellow bases for decks like Mastamon. There aren't a lot of yellow decks that perform in BT11 outside of security control. In general, have you considered splashing any of these floodgates into your decks? Or are you sticking with Psychmon, Chikurimon, and Solarmon on the off chance that your opponent will be running Death Exmon? Let me know your thoughts as Tactical Tuesdays slowly return to the channel. This is Digipanda, logging out.